Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are using pretty much the same product that I used in my IG video. So if you do follow me on my IG video, which you probably should, I mean, if I don't say so myself, I think you should. I did post one of my recent videos. As a matter of fact, I believe it is the most recent video I posted, a super fun video, go check it out. So I'm doing pretty much that same exact look but this time i'm showing you how i got that look whereas that video is just kind of like a fun little video i posted so here's the look we're doing a nice you know almost like a nice everyday look but not really because it does have like nice glitters on it not that you can't wear glitter every day but you get what i'm saying all right so before we jump right in, go ahead and click subscribe down below. Click that red button if you haven't already. Join the notification bell team member, what have you. Click that bell so you don't miss out on any videos I post up and you are notified. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start the video. So I have my makeup laid out all in front of me and let's just get started you guys. So first thing first, obviously if you've been watching my video, you know my current go-to favorite for brows is the e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. Uh, brow pencil. This one is I believe in the shade dark brown. The thing about the brow pencil, the e.l.f. brow pencil is the name of the product, it is on the you know, the uh, unicartan, but it's not on the actual product itself, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows real quick. So now I'm gonna dive into my concealer, and the concealer I'm using today is gonna be the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Eraser, and this is definitely a lot of people's favorite. It's affordable, it's nice, so, we're going to conceal certain parts of her face that I want to conceal. And this one, you guys, it is the shade called Neutralizer. Alright, so now I'm taking my brush. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use a sponge, but today I'm using a brush. And this is a Morphe brush. We're going to blend all that out. And I'm still thinking about what type of makeup look I want to go for. Today is Thursday and I do have work today. I mean, I have, I have work every single day, but on Thursdays, I have work late, which is why I'm able to sit down and record videos for you guys. So, blend all that out. And I learned I can't remember which beauty guru, beauty influencer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I learned from, oh, I learned from Laura Lee. I learned when you're using a brush and you feel like there's like streaky lines, you want to give it that like nice flawless look. She taught me to, you know, stipple your foundation or even like concealer, just stipple it on and that would give it the nice airbrush look. And so, that is what I'm doing. All right. Now, still thinking about what type of look I want to do. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do our contour. And you guys know, I know I'm using like the same products over and over. But I feel like that's pretty much a testament to me really liking and enjoying these products. Because... I mean, if I like it, I'm going to obviously use it because I'm not washing my face after this. I'm going out into the world in public with all this on. And I want to always have my best face, my, you know, my best, what's it called again? Your best front foot forward, something like that. You guys know what I mean. So, ooh, so this product I'm using for contour is the Wet n Wild, um... Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour and they have like several shades but the shade that I'm using currently is called Oaks on You 80 or 804A so yeah that's what it is and then to blend out all the contour I'm going to use my nice big elf brush alright and 
This brush is so convenient. At first I bought it just because A, e.l.f. is incredibly affordable. So I'm like, hey, a couple bucks spent on this, it's not gonna break the bank. And B, I don't know, I just bought it because it was like, it looks so unique and I'm like, maybe one day I'm gonna use it. And at first when I bought it, I didn't really find a good reason to use it. I'm like, so that was a waste of money. But then I figured this is perfect for my contour. I mean, it's just so quick. I love it. So you can also use like a small brush to be more precise with your contour. But a lot of the times I'm just a little lazy and I want to get the job done pretty quickly. I don't really have time to sit around and, you know, enjoy my makeup process because I do have a lot of stuff to get done. I mean, hashtag being an adult, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta get ready quickly. And on top of that, you guys, I do want to record a couple more videos after this. I like to kind of mass record in one sitting. That way I have like a bunch of videos set and ready. I don't always use the videos I record. Sometimes I look over it and I'm like, yeah, that is definitely not going up on YouTube because I don't like it. But, all right, so I believe our contour is looking pretty good giving us some color back into our face, which is exactly what we want. Now, for the eyes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, for the eyes, I am going to use, you know what? I'm gonna do pretty much the same look I did for the um, one of my Instagram videos, which by the way, if you aren't already following me on Instagram, I will put the links down below in the description box. And while I'm editing, I'll like put my, you know, my username, Instagram screen name, uh, my at whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'll put that right here on the screen. That way you guys know like, you know, what it is. But if you're curious, it's at guacamole, all right? guacamole like guacamole but guacamole do you get it no all right anyway so we're doing the instagram look i posted up i believe that's my most recent post it's like a um it's like a really fun video that i made go ahead and check it out and you know what go ahead and leave a pineapple emoji along with how your day's going so yeah leave a pineapple emoji on my instagram latest post and Tell me how your day is going, all right? So, so for today's look, since we are doing that same IG post look, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette. That is what it looks like. And honestly, this palette is amazing. It is definitely a palette you can take on with you, like, you know, take with you on the go type of thing. All right, so the first shade I'm using, you guys, is that shade right there. And they don't really have shade names on it. It's just shade numbers. So I'm gonna take this brush right here and just simply place that all over my lid. Oh, look at my crazy hair right here. That is not cute. All right, let's put that back. Much better. For my second shade, I'm gonna use the Dominique Cosmetics DS03, the Blend and Shade Brush. And I am using the shade, let's see. I'm using that nice orange shade right there. And we're going to dip our brush in. and place that right on our eyes. Like so. And don't worry too much about the fallouts. I know we put our concealer on, but honestly, there really isn't too much fallout with this makeup product, at least not from my experience. So now picking up my DS04, the crease blur brush. I'm going to take this dark brown shade right here. So take that shade 
and just like what the brush tells us is going to be placed right on our crease outer corners and the crease and if you feel like your first color or rather the second color the nice orange shade kind of disappeared go ahead and place that back on you don't have to but I do want some of that color to show through so now we're taking the pigment brush DS05 which is this and we're gonna pick up the shade which is a nice pigmented like glitter shimmer orangey color kind of like reddish orange and I'm gonna place that right on my inner corner pretty much outwards like so all right so we're pretty much done using the palette and we're gonna add a little bit more to the eyes so recently you guys I did go shopping and I bought this incredibly beautiful first of all if you guys watch my videos you already know I love glitter and one of my favorite glitter products is the Urban Decay heavy metal glitter they make some incredible amazing glitter and I don't know honestly I feel like I want to buy every single color which I'm still contemplating if I should or shouldn't but I did get two new colors I'm only going to show you one of them in this video and I'll show you like a little mini haul of what I bought in a different one. So the glitter I'm going to show you today is called the Heavy Metal in the Glitter Shade Starry. And just looking at it through the little tube, through the bottle, whatever you want to call it, look how gorgeous this looks. I mean, that is stunning. And let's compare that to the gold one and not get it confused. So where's my gold glitter? Here is, it's kind of empty, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but this is the Heavy Metal Midnight Cowboy. I do have to get a fresh one. And then this is Starry. So the Starry is kind of like a copper penny, if you will. You guys see that? So we're using the Starry shade, and we're gonna place that basically Let's see, we're going to place it just right on the center of my eye. I like how you can place this glitter, the heavy metal, pretty much on top of your eyeshadow and it won't really cover up your hard work and yet you can still see the eyeshadow and the glitter at the same time. Just going to place that right on top and you're just placing this making it look somewhat imperfect but not like too imperfect you do want to make it a little bit nice and you know just my opinion but I feel like glitter makes everything look so much nicer all right so that is looking pretty incredible I feel like I do think so if I don't say so myself now, eyeliner time. You guys all know one of my favorite go-to eyeliner that I use, I want to say in every single video or pretty much all of them is the amazing, incredible NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. Now this eyeliner is, I mean, it's incredible. Honestly, I love this. I love this, I love this, I love this. But today, you guys, I'm diving into a different eyeliner. And this one is from the company LA Girl Styles. This is one of the, you know, little mini haul eyeliners that I bought. And it is called the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. And you guys, I did a little like hand swatch test before I recorded the video. And on my little hand swatch test, this eyeliner, oh my hand, this eyeliner is pretty good. I like it. And I did use it couple of times and I do like it so it is a cream eyeliner all right so we're gonna do our eyes real quick so after I have pretty much like the base or you know a good amount of eyeliner with this you know eye pencil I like to take a little brush like this and this is the naked ultimate basics brush it's just a brush that came with the palette so it has like a little tiny, you know, little tiny brush like that, itty bitty. And I'm going to use that to smudge out 
the eye look or I mean the eyeliner and kind of in a way smoke it out a bit and elongate my eyes just a tad bit and just to make sure everything is set in place with the eyeliner and you could skip this step if you want to but I like to take my DS01 the blade brush and take that dark brown shade from the palette again and we're just going to place that right on top of the eyeliner it kind of softens up the look which is what I want again you can skip this step if you wish you don't have to do this step but this is what I want to do alright so let's go ahead and curl our lashes we're going to use the Shiseido lash curler I know some people skip this step but and sometimes honestly I do as well but today I am not skipping my lash curling step for our mascara today I'm going to use the uh, Maybelline the Falsies push-up drama now if you watched my earlier video I talked about how this is I I mean I do like it and it does work really well but I feel like calling it the Falsies push-up drama it just doesn't really um I don't know I feel like it's misleading that's just how honestly that's how I feel all right so we're going to use this and do our best to coat our non-existent lashes so in my IG video you guys I did leave it at that with the mascara but I want to give it a little bit more of va va voom if you will so I'm going to use the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal their voluminous Lash Paradise and we're going to add a second coat of mascara right on top and that gives it a nice Va -va -voom. look to our eyes hmm hmm yes you like all right so I like it and you know what if I like it then it's good enough now if you want you can go ahead and add falsies fake lashes whatever you want to call them but for me I'm going to leave it at that so that is good so now back to our face we did our contour our concealer if you want to touch up on your concealer again you can I guess I will touch up a little bit right under blend that out just a bit using that same morphe brush that brightened up my face a tad bit more so now for the blush since we're kind of on the drugstore train right now I believe everything I used so far except for maybe like the Shiseido lash curler I think everything I use makeup wise and except for the Domini cosmetic brushes makeup wise I use pretty much all drugstore it's pretty cool all right so let's stay on that drugstore train and take the elf cream blush which is this beautiful baby shade right there taking my fingers we're going to apply this like so and blend it in apply it with my fingers the feeling of this cream blush it feels like cream but then like I feel like it just turns into like powder kind of so it leaves that nice soft look and honestly lately you guys I've been loving a nice flushed blush face <laughs> say that like three times fast nice flushed blushed face nice flushed blush yeah can't can't do it you guys so and I do like putting some blush right on my nose I feel like that just gives it a nice you know a nice glow a nice young youthful look looking very pretty okay so 
that is the look I'm going for. Does it look like a lot of blush? Probably. Is this what I want it look like? Yeah. So we got the blush on. Now we're going to use some highlighter. Now, for the highlighter, we're going to use the Wet n Wild. Uh, this is the Loose Highlighting Powder. And this is an incredibly intense highlighter. I mean, you guys, this highlighter is so intense. I mean, incredibly intense. Oh, and the brush I'm using. Normally, this would be my eye brush, but now I'm using it as a highlighter brush. So anyways, this Wet n Wild highlighter is so intense. Whatever's on this cap, which looks like not much, but that is what I'm gonna use, even tapping it off. You hear that? Swirl, tap, plenty, plenty of, look at that. That's like, just from the lid itself, and on top of that, I tapped off the excess. That's pretty incredible. So, I do want an intense highlight, but I do want to kind of soften the highlight up a little bit so after i place on the highlight where i want them and definitely don't forget to close your little loose highlighter because i don't know about you guys but i do not need this spilling all around the place so after that i'm gonna use this big fluffy brush and kind of Hmm, maybe use my fingers a little bit. I'm trying to blend out this intense highlighter. I don't need it looking too intense. Yeah, I think my finger works best. So just using my fingers and kind of blending out the highlighting shade. Cause you guys, this highlighter is incredibly intense. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think for my IG, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighting Palette. So, not exactly the exact same look as the IG video, but very similar. Okay, so that is good. Now, time for the lips. For the lip, I used the CoverGirl Melting Pout Lippy. So, we're going to... Place that right on our lip. And then finally taking my Wet n Wild um, Primer Water, 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is in Rose Water. Spray that on my face. Whip out my fan. And pretty much fan myself. So it's all nice and dry. Alright you guys, here is the final look. A nice glittery eyeshadow look using pretty much all drugstore items. I just realized the only not drugstore item I used was the Urban Decay glitter, heavy metal glitter. But other than that, everything was I believe all drugstore. So here we are at the final look and I hope you guys did enjoy this look. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Quag fam. Click subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell. Like I mentioned in my other videos, in the future, when I gather some stuff, I will be doing some type of notification bell giveaway. It's exclusively for those who are part of the notification bell um, team, notification bell um, member, you know, still thinking of a name. If you have one that rings a bell, get it? Rings a bell. Comment down below. So anyway, that is it for today's look. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. I will talk to you next time. All right. Bye, guys.